What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. I had a lot of comments in one of my other videos regarding Bigsby 2.0. That is on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Unfortunately, Samsung has disabled you from being able to turn it off like they have in the past on the Note 8 even and all those other devices that came out. However, there is now an easy workaround. It is software based, so unfortunately Samsung can block it at any time with an update. However, if you guys are as fed up with the with Bigsby service as I am, you got to give this app an opportunity to try it out. I'll show you how to install it. It needs a couple of permissions. Pretty simple. It takes five minutes to get set up. And then this app will even allow you to use the Bigsby button as a Google Assistant button or a shortcut to an app, a flashlight, whatever you might want. Let's go ahead and get started. All you're going to do is you're going to want to head to the Play Store and look for this app right here. It's called BX Actions, Bigs Button Remapper. It's free. There are in-app purchases. Go ahead and accept it. Download the app. It takes two seconds to do. Open it up, and it should walk you through it itself and tell you. So what you're going to do once you actually have the app open, go ahead and click Next, and it's going to tell you the permissions you need to give it. It needs foreground permission. So if you go ahead and go in to the data ac access, BX actions is off. You want to allow usage tracking, turn it on. Get button events as well. Slide that on. You're going to scroll down to services. And down here you'll see now the Bigsby actions come up. Just Bigsby button is all you need to worry about. Go ahead and slide that on. And you are done. Now what you're going to do is click on the Bigsby button and you can see single press what it does. Automatically it is linked to already unlock your Google Assistant. So if we press it right here, you see now Google Assistant comes up. Much nicer than having uh, Bigsby. You can also remap it to Player, pause, media, media next, tracks on your music, volume up and down, do not disturb, silent mode, really whatever you want. And if you wanted to purchase it as well, uh, there are a whole bunch of other tasks and toggles you can do. Uh, it really just depends on if you want to purchase it or not. Take a look at it in the App Store. Like I said, I've been using it now for a little while and it's worked pretty flawlessly. However, unfortunately, Samsung can cancel it at any time with an update to Bigsby. Just keep that in mind. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned to the next one.